guys welcome back to my channel i'm so happy to be making this today since since it's been such a long time that i uploaded but it looks like the one day i do decide to film the weather is bad and it's a bit dark so sorry about that um today i'm going to be making a productivity tips video um normally i would make like a beauty video where i review products that i've been using that was actually my idea before but i only had a a few couple of products and I thought that would be quite a boring video so I decided to do this instead. So I'm going to be sh um, sharing some tips that help me to get things done on those days that I manage to get things done. Um, we all have days when we're not as productive but um, normally when I am productive it's normally these tips that are helping me. So I'm going to share them with you. My first one is to write things down. Writing things down you know it's it makes it so much likely that I'm so much more likely that I'm going to get it done if I write it down because not only does it serve as like a reminder but it makes you more motivated to do it um, I read a quote somewhere that was like seeing your goals written down in your um, own handwriting it has a powerful effect on your brain and I think I agree with that because you know you see it written down and it's like you've said to yourself I'm going to get this done so now you want to make sure that you do get it done. And also it's nice to be able to check things off a list, like a physical list that you've written things down on. Even with this video, you know, I wrote it down in, on my to-do list. It helped me to be more motivated to film. So my second tip is to simplify your to-do list. Now I've learned so much about this simply because, you know, I used to do it wrong and it, it didn't work for me. Um, I used to put too many things on my to-do list. I literally used to put about five to seven items, you know, for a day on my to-do list. And it didn't work because I had too many things to do um, during a short period of time. Um, it might work for others, but for me, it didn't work. What I do now, typically, is I get more important stuff done, even though I'm doing less, because I prioritise. So t my to-do lists are not more than two to three items a day but I'm, I'm able to get more of what I want done because I figure out you know what what are the tasks that if I don't do today I'm going to be upset with myself with and so I normally get those done so that helps me. Um, also my uh, next tip is to use a timer so I love using a timer for tasks that are really long and you know the task that you look at and it's like that would be so hard to start because it's such a long task and you know it might even be a boring one normally if on my computer I would just you know google timer set it for 45 minutes and I normally find you know I can just about manage 45 minutes without getting distracted because I normally find that when I time myself I'm much stricter with myself I'm able to focus on a task and it also helps um, to plan because you're able to figure out what, how long, how much time a certain task will take. So if you've only got a limited amount of time and you, you, you're you used to timing yourself, you'll be able to eventually figure out, figure out what task you can do in that amount of time. And it's at the end of a specific amount of time to say, this is what I've got done. So that's how a timer normally helps me. Also, I find that making deadlines help because if if you um, if you don't have a deadline, it's so easy to keep pushing things forward because you don't really have a reason not to procrastinate. Um, so normally, when I make a deadline, normally it's a day of the month I want to have a project done by. It makes me so motivated to do it so that when that day comes, I can be done with it. And so, you know, it gives you something to look forward to, even if the thing you're looking forward to is just to be finished with a particular task. And my next tip is to start early. So starting early just, it makes you feel good about, you know, what you're able to do because you start early. If you don't start early, it, it makes you almost lose faith in yourself because it's like, I have this task today to do that was supposed to be done three days ago. I didn't do it. What if I don't do it three days from now? I didn't do it before. Who's to say that I'll get it done in the future? And you know, that self doubt carries on. The more you let it go, it's just like, what's the point of starting? I probably won't get it done. 
um, now, but if you start early, you give yourself enough time, you feel so much more confident and then, you know, you don't have to keep pushing it forward. You're unlikely to push it forward when you've already got the bulk of it done, I guess, so that's why it normally helps me. My last tip for being more productive is to mix it up. So this normally means varying the amount, the sort of task you're working on a particular day. So normally for me, if I've got like a few tasks that are very repetitive or I'm sitting down for most of the day, I will try to put similar tasks on different days. So have days that are a mix of short and long tasks rather than just like long two hour projects all together. Normally if I'm doing an activity that I've had to like sit down for a long time, I'll make the second activity one that gets me up and makes me more active on my feet doing something else because I'm less, less likely to get bored or unmotivated. So these are my tips on how to be more productive. I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you so much for watching. I normally upload on my blog more, so be sure to follow me on there if you're not following me already. My blog is rolliademma.com, and so I post there much more frequently. I normally have a blog post up a week, so um, be sure to check that out if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!